Hey, what's going on guys? Come on, Kinz here. In this video, we're going to learn how to read data from CSV and to create a data frame out of it using PySpark. So without further ado, let's actually start. Okay, uh, the very first thing to consider, I want to let import PySpark as a module. And I'm using uh, import find spark for this purpose. And then I can simply say find spark dot init. And here I need to specify the path where my uh, PySpark is installed. So op spark in my case. In your case, this might be different. But anyway, and then uh, now I can finally say from, yeah, let's just import the packages and from PySpark.SQL, I want to import spark session the entry point uh, that allows us to actually read data so the next thing to consider we want to create spark session and here uh, I just create the spark object which is by the way available in the part uh, in the by spark shell by default but here we need to create this so spark session dot builder dot master and here, uh, as far as I'm running this locally, uh, not in the cluster, I'm saying local, and the integer value, and the number of partitions, and non zero one. But for easy, for easiness of, of users, you just might think of this uh, as the number of CPUs to use. So generally, one is okay for this example. And then uh, specify the app name, and here, let's say, read, read CSV, for instance and get or create so in case if we already have this session uh in this case we just uh, redirect, redirect the pointer otherwise we will just create a new session object for us so from now on we can actually start working with this you know um the csv data uh, itself so let me just open so for instance yeah view folder and yeah let's have a look at this simple zip codes.csv so this is the regular CSV file, just to give an idea, All right? So here it is, and now we're going to be loading this data into as as the data frame. So I hope it makes sense. Uh, so in order to do this, now we want to just create a data frame from CSV data. And DF stands for data frame equals spark uh, dot read dot CSV and then the path. So resources, so see like it's in the resources file uh, folder. Uh, the current working directory is here, read CSV. So resources slash simple zip codes dot CSV. And then uh, let's just print the the schema. So df dot print schema, and actually print the data frame itself. So df dot show, and this is pretty much all about it. Now let's try to run and see if it works. So Python three uh, read csv dot py, and hopefully. Hopefully to see the data frame being initialized out of the CSV uh, CSV data. So let's have a look if it works. <coughs> Don't get distracted by the warnings. It's all uh, like because of my local environment, which is not perfect. And generally they can be just ignored. All right, and yeah, here we go. So we got uh, the schema here and uh, the actual data set. So, so far, so good. And now, um, uh, just just a few words in regards to the uh, future video, then probably that would be coming next. So you see like here, and uh, the same was with the JSON that we've been loading the previous part. So here the problem is that all the types uh, uh, the types of all the data, all the data cells are strings. But for instance, if we're going to be uh, using this to store data to 
SQL table, for instance. In that case, uh, it might be having different values rather than strings so like integers, booleans, whatever. So I believe, yeah, probably the next video will have a look how to create a data set from uh, using the custom schema, which might be useful for further interaction. This is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.